I'm seeing more and more women come out um, really losing it about the dating market. They're saying that the dating pool has sewage in it. That's how bad it is. But how did it actually get that way? And who's really to blame for the dating market being so bad? But let's review it. What kind of world do we live in where a normal, regular girl cannot find just a regular guy out here to date? Because these guys don't want a real woman. Two things. You said f you find. See, that's the problem. You're out of order. The way it's supposed to be or by universal law. He, 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 the man finds a wife, not she finds a husband. He finds a wife. You put yourself in a position to be found. That's number one. Number two, when you mentioned about regular girls, right? If you look at a lot of men, their wives, you, let's say within your particular community, you got successful men with, with wives that look like you, ma'am. So it's not about being regular is the problem, but let's continue. They want a fantasy. They want to live in this fake fantasy world. They would rather off to some screen, to some robot, rather than actually deal with a real human being and what comes with that. You know why? Because it's easier. <laughs> And I am done. I'm done. Well, you touched on something. I haven't heard nobody touch on um, a little bit. So you say basically the men would rather, you know, choke their chicken. Um, they're rather, you know, play with themselves. Um, they're, they rather do all that to, um, to some adult entertainment. A lot of men today have said numerous of times is actually no drama when that happens, when they do that. It's no STDs, it's no unwanted pregnancies. Um, it's no drama, no toxicity, no dealing with being cheated on, all the game playing of, oh, I'm, I'm playing with this guy to get dinner dates, but I really don't want to do nothing with him. You know, see, a lot of the modern women has created that. Now, most men would not want to be doing that. Of course, not. I'd rather be with a woman. You said everything that comes with a woman. Well, some of the things that's coming with modern women, a lot of guys say, eh, I'm good. I'll be by myself. You had, look, let me tell you something. It's actually abnormal for a man to say, I don't want to date no woman. They're not LGBT, but they say, I'd rather not date no woman until I go back to Dominican Republic. I see what's going on out there. I don't want to date no American women. I wait till I get back to Cartagena. I don't want to date no women. I wait till I get back to Johannesburg, South Africa. I wait till I get back out there and see what's going on. And the whole time, I don't want nothing to do with y'all. You understand? Instead of you, instead of you focusing on that, a lot of times women don't like to look inward or even look inward within their own society because you have people like Dr. Umar Johnson, for instance, that will say it's all the men's fault. But a lot of this chivalry that maybe you're looking for, women killed that. They killed it. They killed it when they wanted to be men. We have seen that the strong and independent mindset is a American culture thing with the women. It's not just one group of women. And the reason why I make sure to show videos of people of all communities on this channel is because one thing I said I didn't want to do is try to just make it all black because it's actually a Western issue. It's not just black folk. It's a whole Western issue that we have here. Anybody live in a Western country, black, white, whatever, Asian, whatever, they're dealing with the same issues and problems. The same things. Nothing, nothing is changing. You got a lot of white men, like I say, write me all the time and tell me how they sick and tired of, of, of women like her. Cause she'll be doing all this crying, but then she'll, but women like her be held on wheels, even to white men. So, so these guys are just tired. Then you have things like freaking only fans and all these different things today. You know, like I said, women, I mean, it, it just ruined a lot of things. Then you gotta think about it. 
at one point in time, a man couldn't get a woman on the first day. He, he couldn't lay down with her. That was stigmatized in the 80s, in the 90s. That was stigmatized. You'll be labeled a 304 for laying down with a guy the first night you meet him. Today, because of women's empowerment, being a 304, it's okay. It's empowering to be a 304. Well, male nature says this. If I can get it that easy, I don't respect it. And who else has been in it? Why would I want that woman to be my wife? Why? When you let a man lay down with you, just, just random like that, a man doesn't value you, but at the same time, it puts a lot of unwanted pressure on women who say, okay, I want to respect myself. But then you have so many other women out here that don't mind being three or fours and will sleep with that guy on the first day. Putting pressure on women to dress, uh, like a three or four. And they're not that way, but they feel like they, they got to feel pressure. They feel pressured to get surgery, if you're pressured to get all these procedures done to themselves because they feel like, oh, I got to look a certain way to get like, no, you don't have to look a certain way. You do not. Back in the, like say the nineties and all of that, those women didn't have a bunch of plastic surgery. And, 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 and if, those, if those women didn't have a bunch of plastic surgery, some of y'all that's in Gen Z, you wouldn't be here if they didn't, if they didn't have no man getting with them, having no kids. Most men, especially these days, since it's so much, some of, some of these men say, you know, nah, I don't want no woman to got all that. Matter of fact, some of them even saying if a woman got all that, I'm kind of, I'm kind of iffy now because of this trans woman thing. You don't know you dealing with a trans woman. See, that's another Avenue that had, was not nowhere near the, uh, like it is today. You know, you go from the eighties, nineties, early two thousands, I say all the way up to the mid two thousands or so. That really wasn't an issue, but fast forward today, that is a major issue. And a lot of men are afraid of that too. And unfortunately, some of you biological women embrace the trans woman. Hell, you may, you do your makeup like the trans woman. You look the same. You don't want a natural look. And a lot of, so you hear men saying, oh, I want a woman that got more natural. And y'all women say, oh, you really don't want a natural woman. No, 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 no. You don't know what a man is saying when he say natural. M natural, okay, you can put on makeup, but makeup complements your look. It doesn't make who you are. It's just a compliment. You understand what I'm saying? You don't have to have all that shiny lipstick. And you're not taking care of your skin, so you got to put on all that freaking foundation. You're not drinking water. You're not eating right, so your skin is jacked up. You shouldn't have to even be putting on foundation like that if, you, if you're taking care of your skin. And then when you take care of your skin and you're drinking water, eating right, taking your right vitamins, your hair going to grow real long. You got to put all them crazy wigs in your hair like Lil' Kim, which she was entertaining back in the 90s, like the Crush On You video. I mean, that's not normal to be wearing all them different color wigs and all of that. And you think a man's going to respect that? Come on now. So no, a lot of regular men is still out there looking for regular women. But unfortunately today, regular men are ridiculed. If he makes $40,000, he's looked down upon because a lot of them say, I want a guy making six figures. And then you got competition. That same guy making $40,000. If he can make it remotely, could take that same $40,000 out of this country and he'd be living like a king. They don't have to deal with you. That's another thing. You got a lot of competition. Now the market is not what it was even 10 years ago. It's totally different. But let me know what y'all think about this woman here. What was she saying? It's going to be more of making videos crying. It is because it, they were caving in on them and, and, and doing that strong independent thing. It's not working out.